So NATO must maintain... In a statement to a German newspaper, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg predicted that the war would last for years and that supplying Ukrainian forces with the latest weapons would enhance the chance of liberating the eastern Donbas region from the Russian control. We need to prepare for the fact that the war could take years. We cannot give up supporting Ukraine, even if the costs are high, not just in military support, but also in rising energy and food prices. In turn, the European Union Special Representative for Human Rights, Simon Glimor, visited the Ukrainian towns of Irpin and Bucha on Sunday. Speaking to reporters, Gilmore said the world couldn't turn a blind eye to the crimes committed by the Russian army in Ukraine and that those who gave the orders should be brought to justice. We talk not only about those who committed the crime, the direct crime, on the spot and in location. They, of course, have responsibility. But we're also talking about those who are in the chain of command. If necessary, right to the very top. Uh, but that has to be pursued by investigation uh, of those who are carrying it out. This comes as Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky expects Russian army concentrated in the east to intensify its attacks, trying to take complete control of the Donbas, while Kiev awaits European Union decision this week on granting Ukraine the status of a candidate country.